One thing in the Binghamton area that we're really fortunate to have is a plethora of restaurant choices. And today we're gonna eat at the newest one, Station 45 in the former Lackawanna Railroad Terminal. So let's go, uh, let's go chow down. Thank you to the Patreon and YouTube members. Let's go. Looks like they have a really fantastic outdoor patio over here. Oh, look, they've got one of those photo, they've got a photo booth opportunity here. Wow, I like the dark theming. And the old train sign up there. Welcome to Station 45 Chop House. Ooh, and the marble on the bar looks nice. All right, looks like we've got a table. We're at our incredibly beautiful table now. Look at those salt and pepper shakers, those are awesome. Here's a quick look down the menu. Feel free to pause the video if you wanna read uh, more in depth. So apparently I, what I just showed you was the basic wine list because they also provide you with this, which is pretty significant in terms of their wine offerings. Everybody should find something to go with their meal here. This is crazy. I don't know if I've ever been anywhere with a larger wine menu because, you know, we're not fancy. Right, Annie? All right, so we just got our drinks, and first I'm gonna have the wife try hers and tell you how she likes it, and then we'll come back and I'll test mine. So how is it, and what drink did you get? It's an espresso martini and it's delicious. It's very smooth. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to drink, but it's a very smooth one. It's very tasty, and it came out very quickly. That's, for me, one of the more important aspects of drink service is I don't want to wait nine hours for it. As snobby and as up, uppity as that sounds, these came out in like 30 seconds flat, flat so I appreciate that. And uh, what what are these beans right there? Are those espresso, espresso beans? beans? Okay. All right, now here I'm gonna give the phone to her. Frank got a Cosmo. I got a Cosmo, I love the color. It's very uh, fruity and tropical looking. I love the lime. The lime is perfectly cut and perfectly shaped. And uh, now we're gonna take a drink. Mm, it's very clean and fresh tasting. And I love the, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the stuff floating around in it looks- Probably some kind of pulp from a yeah, juice. Yeah, the pulp from the juice is very nice. Very nice touch. So I was gonna get the French onion soup because I judge most nicer restaurants on how good the French onion soup is. But the special appetizer for the night was a burrata with bruschetta and crostini with that balsamic glaze that you see and I just could not resist it. So I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. I'm sure this is gonna make me very happy. Also, a lot of the other appetizers on the menu weren't really for us just because I would say at least 80% of them were seafood and we're not big into seafood, but lots of really nice appetizers on the menu. These old doors where you would go out to the trains back when this was an actual train station, and there's a, those are the old ticket windows and behind there they told us they have seating for like eight people for a more intimate gathering. The open kitchen is back there as well. So you can see into the kitchen and then I'll show you guys around the corner uh, in my next little section. 
so this is the bar side of the building. I love the chandeliers and the rusturated ceilings. And I love the drink display. I like how it glows with the station logo underneath. Very nice. So this is the back side of the bar over here. And the restrooms are over there with a really cool old retro looking sign. Look at that. Normally I wouldn't bother showing you guys a bathroom, but look at the details in here. They got these like riveted side panels protecting the urinal and on the main stall door. It's just gorgeous. And then the brickwork, it looks wet, but I think it's some kind of like coating over the brick. I don't know. And then you got the tin ceilings again. And the wallpaper is like really, really nice. Everything in here is so high end. I just had to show you guys this. So this is the hallway leading out of the bathroom and they've got really awesome photos and like schematics of railroad uh, crossing signs. So cool. And pictures of the old train. Believe it or not, Binghamton used to have really good train service to places like New York, Scranton, and Syracuse, uh, but not anymore. And here's an old picture of the train station from back in the day. It's something, looks like the Liberty Bell, but made out of people. Yeah. Another old train photo. And another photo of the station. So cool. And then a person dressed like a dog. So Frank ordered a cheesesteak, which does not come with a side, or except the fries that he chose. He could have chose the fries or a salad as the side. He chose the fries. So I chose a salad to go along with my steak, and she was so lovely enough to split it up for us. And then we got two dressings ranch in. They have a homemade white balsamic. It comes with this lovely bread. How, how's the bread, honey? He's a bread connoisseur. It's very fresh and crispy. I like the crispy aspect of it. And uh, the butter is very easily spread. As oh, you saw, it got all over that's there. important. Yeah, that's very, very, very important. Warm. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, well, I want some. I'll spread you some. So, I got a filet. And I actually got it with a Milanese sauce on it, which is not one of the options they give you, but she did it for me anyway because they have like a veal or pork uh, Milanese. All your steaks come with asparagus and that's what comes with it. So what you do is you order shareable sides with whoever you're with. I chose risotto because obviously that's what you get with steak. It looks delicious, it tastes delicious. I do need to add a little salt. Frank got the Lackawanna cheesesteak and look at this, everybody. It's got one, two, three, four pieces of sandwich. He opted for the french fries that comes with the french fries. They call it the Lackawanna because you're going to need a flatbed train car to haul your you-know-what out of here after you finish eating it. So we'll be right back with some impressions of the food in terms of taste. I did try a fry. It's delicious. Very crispy. None of salt. And I'll, well, obviously we'll give you a nice steak cutting video as well. I ordered it medium. The silverware is so fancy looking. Yeah, it cuts really nicely. That looks a little bit more than medium, but I think I can eat it. Well, I mean, you don't want it mooing, so. Um, whoa, that actually is a little bit too, too not cooked. All right. Uh-oh. Turn it off. Look at the, look at the asparagus. Where's our lady? So that's take number one on the meat. Looks like we're gonna, <laughs> looks like we're gonna be refiring here. <laughs> what would Gordon Ramsay say in a situation like this? Oh, the asparagus is perfect. It's perfectly crisp and very well seasoned. A few moments later. So we got the refired steak back, and uh, how is it now? So delicious, perfect. And is it uh, cooked correctly, finally? Yeah, they probably just had to reheat it for a couple minutes. I shouldn't say finally, that's not fair. It's a thick slab of meat, so it's probably really difficult to cook 100% correctly. I'm eating the cheesesteak. It is loaded with cheese. It's very delicious. The sections of meat are not as thick as I thought they were. That's probably why there's four of them. 
and the bread is from New York City. We're back in the main entrance for a second. This is the former ticket booth. They said it seats about eight, and it's basically like a private event function space. And look, there's where they would have slid the tickets under and collected the money years ago. I love how high the ceilings are in here. That's really impressive. So yeah, there's the former ticket booth. Thanks for joining us on our first trip to Station 45. How did you feel about it? It was spectacular. It was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, my cheesesteak was outrageously large. Uh, the drinks were delicious. I'd highly recommend checking it out. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but you gotta well, you gotta have that expectation that's going why into it. we went it. for our anniversary. I saved it. So yeah. my steak was fantastic. Even I did send it back, but it came back fine. The risotto was amazing. The appetizer was amazing. So. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.